This video is about natural gas water heater. So this is the condition that I have to deal with. I gotta get rid of all this stuff. The cold water pipe is rusted out and it caused this damage and this is very dangerous. So we have to go. So I went to the Home Depot, I picked up a water heater similar to what's already there. Uh, there's no complaints of the demand. So I figured just replace exactly what's there. So that's the plan. So I already had and removed it. I wanted to save the pipe, but I wasn't able to. So I had to replace the tank. Uh, if the rusted part, you see, snapped off. Uh, there was um, quite an experience. So that's why I couldn't change it. I couldn't uh, save the tank. The tank that I have, you see over here, it's fairly new. I guess uh, four or five years, looks like. And this is the copper pipes right there. So what I'm going to do is cut off on a dotted line in the bottom. This particular box is easy to open. What I had to do was just, you know, cut on the dotted line all four sides. And then just pull off the box. And, uh, you know, just once you pull the box off, then the plastic is there. And you have this uh, cold water right here. And the hot water. And let's not forget the exhaust. The exhaust right there. So we'll give you a close-up look what's inside. And where is the anode? And there's the anode right there. So you got all the parts together. So the tank um, is not heavy, but you need two person to lift it in place. So I already had the tank in place. And right now you have the gas inlet right there. I'm going to remove the sticker before I install. So this is the old water heater. I have to get rid of this old water heater. I had to have uh, help with that. So I already put the new water heater in place and nothing is connected yet because I have to modify some brazing. So I went ahead and I bought this installation kit. You could pick it up for, uh, you know, 40 bucks at Home Depot. Um, I'm not going to use the yellow gas pipe that you see. I'm not going to use that because in this particular situation, I have half inch pipe already that I could use half inch black pipe. So what I want to do is I want to dry fit these flexible hoses. So I know how much of copper I got to come down to fit it nice and snug. So right now this particular one needs a little bit of copper adjustment right there. Good thing I didn't, um, you know, install it permanently. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this to the length of the copper. And that's very easy to do. Um, I'm going to cover in cover the procedure in the video in the future to how to cut pipes properly. So I have that already. Dry fit is good. So I put Teflon on the um, on the pipe that is sticking out from the water heater, and then uh, you know I put Teflon on top as well, so we don't get any water leak. So you got the gas line. I already connected just what I had before. So most important part is checking for leaks. So I got the gas valve off and I wanted to check for leak. And this actually, if there's any actual leak and the valve is not good, this uh, sensor should go off. Um, so what I'm going to do is turn it back on and actually check for the air leaks. Um, that's very, very important. You don't want any, you know, natural gas leaking into the house. So with this tester, I'm going slowly to every fittings um, so that if there is tiny bit of leak somewhere, I would know. So I'm going slow, easy. You don't want to miss, um, you know, tiny leaks. I didn't have to make an adjustment. You know, that's why I wanted to get the same tank. Uh, so you got the hot, cold, and exhaust all connected. And then you turn the valves on, cold water line and hot water line. You want to let, you want to give it the tank a couple of minutes to fill up. And then you turn from off to pilot. Once you have that going, you want to make sure the gas valve is on as well. And you hold it down, hold and push down and keep on pushing the igniter button until you see the LED light start blinking. Then you'll see a pilot um, light over there and you see the it's um, running. Um, I got a setting to hot and I don't want to go beyond that. It'll be too hot, but it's up to you how uh, you know hot you want. So this is what the uh, finished product is looking like. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share it with your family and friends. Thank you.